Now in order to do the WordPress install, you are going to need some information and you'll probably need that information from your hosting company. You are going to go to yourdomain.com and when I say your domain, that's obviously the domain where you're going to be putting your WordPress site .com or .net or whatever your domain is and you're going to type in forward slash cpanel. Now you'll then be prompted for a hosting password and a hosting username. Now you may have to get that information again from your host and then once you have it you want to enter that information into the login screen and then you'll be brought to the cpanel screen and I'll show you that right now. You are now looking at cpanel and typically what you'll want to do is you'll want to scroll down through cpanel and you'll want to look in software and services for an icon that says Fantastico Deluxe. Now you might see other icons, you may not see Fantastico, you may see something different. You'll want to make sure that when you click inside of Fantastico or whatever your software service is that you're going to see WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and click Fantastico Deluxe now. And when we get there you're going to notice that you have lots of installations that you could do but the one we're going to be most concerned with is going to be WordPress and you'll see that right there on the left side menu. Now that you're ready to start installing your website you're going to go and click WordPress. WordPress is going to give you the option to start a new installation and that is what you are going to do. You're going to click this link that says new installation. When you do that then WordPress is going to give you some options. It's going to allow you to install WordPress in a subdirectory and you can certainly do that and that is one of the benefits of being able to use Fantastico and even using WordPress. We could theoretically install WordPress across our domain in many subdirectories but in this particular case we're just going to focus on one. When you come to the screen you are going to be given a choice by WordPress to either install WordPress in the domain where it will be the root domain or you can install it in a subdirectory. If you want to install it in a subdirectory all you'll need to do is you'll need to put the subdirectory here where it says install in directory. If you just want it to be installed on the domain name and you want WordPress to take up the entire domain then all you need to do is just leave this blank and then continue the process. Now what you want to do right now is that um, you are then going to want to put a username for the administrator and this is what's going to allow you to log into WordPress as well as a password. And then you're going to give your admin a nickname. So this is what your admin will appear as when you're posting on your WordPress site. You're going to write in an email address and you want this email address to be one where you get mail or that you don't have a lot of problems with spam because you do want to get things with WordPress if something is happening with the site and there is a way for you to be notified you want to make sure that that email address is one that works. Writing in the site name obviously we're going to write in the site name but this is something that uh, we can we can change later as well as a description here. Now for purposes of this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory and I'm going to call it test WP directory. Okay, you can install it in a directory if you want and again you can just install it across the entire domain. So let's go ahead and type some information here. So I have a test directory. I'm also going to write in an administrator name and I'm going to write in a password and an administrator nickname. Okay, I've now written in some information there and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and put a site name in here. I'm just going to call it test directory. And then I'm going to give it a description test for WordPress course. Once we've done that, then we can actually click the button to install WordPress. And that is what we're going to do right now. You are now going to be given an intermediate step that you can click finish installation and that's all you're going to have to do. And then once you've done that then WordPress is going to be installed and what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to go to your directory so that you can log in. We can then write in our username and our password and then we can just click log in. Then once we log in we are now inside of our WordPress dashboard and we are now ready to start working on our site.
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.